you grab the tablet out of my... Good morning, everyone. And by the way, I'm live. Um, the t I think it's on charge over... Yeah, I'll need that too. Look, I hit the go button without actually being ready. How are we all this morning? Am I even on the right Facebook page? That would be the next question. Um, it's over, yeah, stop looking, found it. How are we all? Are we all good? Um, I had a meeting this morning, uh, which is why I'm a little late, later than the last couple of days, which is why I didn't set myself a, a promised time to be able to be on here with you guys. I just thought I would surprise you and um, say hi. So I hope everybody's morning is going really, really great. Hope the sun is shining where you are. It is a lovely, lovely, splendid day here today. And today we have got another special. Now, I really don't know how you guys are doing it, but you are absolutely blowing our minds with um, your orders. And for that, we are very, very thankful. And in saying that... Thankful is our code word of the day. So what that means is, comments on, when you get to the checkout, oh, what's our, what's our, um, I don't even know what the date is. Oh, look, my camera's not even set up in the right spot. Would anyone know that I haven't done this before? Crikey. Am I lined up? Thought of the day. Thought of the day. Read it out, Lou. Contact a friend to let them know you're thinking of them. Contact a friend to let them know you're thinking of them. Excellent. I'm Beautiful. thinking, could you just turn that radio off? <laughs> you know, let me move my table forward. Oh, I've got the chucks cloth here because I forgot to give it to Jessica. Put that over there. All right. Am I lined up a little bit better? Good morning, Tina. Good morning, everyone. Okie dokie. So let's do this. So yes, we are thankful for you guys. And this week is all about being thankful for the things. This is being uh, being thankful, thankful for our health, being thankful for our friends. I am thankful for your friendships. I am thankful for your custom. Um, I have, um, yeah, it's just, it's all about thankful. So jump online, place your order. Look at that, got the gloves out too. Place your order. Put your order through, alcohol inks 25% off. So that means you need to put the word thankful in capital letters, one word, in the coupon discount code section. In the comment section, if you want us to post your order today or tomorrow, just let us know, okay? And if you scroll back through my Facebook post, you will find instructions on how to put a comment in the comments section, all right? Um, I don't have a plan for today. I, I have got some Yupo paper here, and this is A4 Yupo paper that I have cut down into little six by fours because that is what I like to do. And I pulled some stencils aside because I want to... Oh, put them on the floor. Because I want to have a bit of a play with stencils as uh, as well as um, alcohol inks and Yupo paper. So I'm just going to get a couple of things handy and making a clean spot off to the side here. I, I rushed a little bit too much to get here for you guys because I knew you knew you're all waiting. Uh, so I wasn't quite ready. So I'm just going to, I've got a little, got my Raskog trolley here next to me with a, a flat bench on it. So I'm just gonna put some paper towel up there to catch the excess runoff as they are drying. So it's about preparation. Preparation is everything when it comes to having your, um, getting your alcohol inks ready and you're getting your pro projects ready. So for those of you who don't know, alcohol inks are exactly that. They have an alcohol base to them with ink and you can do lots and lots of things with them. Here is something that I have created earlier in previous live Facebooks using alcohol ink as my background and then having a, um, using one of the Scrap Effects silhouettes over the top. 
So there's that one. And then that one. So you can make some beautiful backgrounds. Um, I, I especially love this one. This one is probably one of my favourites. I think that's great. And as you can see, I've just foam taped that there. Wrapped some string, white pen, bam. Then I also have here, I had a Dina Wakeley stamp that I stamped over the top of the fluoro alcohol inks to show you how they look. So they've got a, a really awesome pop of colour. So what I'm going to do is I've got my stencils here ready. And these are the Natalie May scrapbooking stencils. And I've got some paper, so I'm just going to get one, two, three, four out. And I'm going to do some bits and pieces with my stencils. So I have got, put, going to put my stencil straight down onto my Yupo paper. So of course, with Yupo paper, we need to use a synthetic plastic based paper so that the alcohol ink settles on top and it doesn't soak in. Okay, so um, I'm just going to have, I'm going to shake up a heap of them here and I'm going to pull out the fluoros. I'm going to go all in with fluoros. And I've got colours again that are alongside each other on the colour wheel and I'm just going to shake them. And before I start, I like to make sure that they're all shook, shaken, shooken. And all mixed up and all the good stuff is there. And then I get the lids off because I like to move quite quickly with this. I like to make sure that I am going to move quickly and that I'm going to be quite decisive. As you can see, I'm a bit lazy and just put random lids back on. But that's okay. That's my doing. Okay, and now I'm just going to splurt that straight on. And I'm pretty generous. So you can use alcohol inks on lots of different surfaces. It does work best on Yupo paper. Okay, it does work best on something that's going to allow the alcohol to evaporate. leaving the colour on here. So this is why I've got the gloves on, because I knew I was going to do this. And I didn't put it down any blending first, any blending card first. And then I'm just going to use my roll of paper towel to make pretty paper towel. Needs a bit more yellow. And I might just give it a bit more pink. But I love this. I love this, um, this finish. So now I'm just going to pick that up exactly like it is and put it on the floor. Now, I did have dirty stencils, so that's my bad. But I'm going to do it again. So I've got another piece of Yupo. And I've got my Stars stencil this time. And I'll go with some different colours, so I'm just going to quickly re-lid. Um, so I hope everyone is doing really great wherever you are in Australia. Here in Adelaide today, it's not a bad day. It's a little bit nice. It's a bit chilly. I've got the heater on in my office. Um, and we are... I might go with Amber. Amber, that's I don't need another fluoro. Um, sticking with colours that are alongside each other, I'm going to use a champagne gold. I'm going to put a metallic in there. And I really want to go with something that's not going to go too muddy. So perhaps a geranium. Um, so yeah, we are not too bad here in Adelaide at the moment. I'm just going to get some colour down first. Again, I'm not using any blending card, and now I'm going to get... Oh, I was going to use the stars, wasn't I? Neither side is cleaner than the other side. Right, 
rub that on. A bit like this. A bit like that. So the metallic, oh, my tablet's gonna go flat. Hey Lou, do you reckon yeah. you can make that magic happen for me, babe? Hi there, Sharon Martin from New Zealand. Oh, I need to shake that up more. So what's happened is the champagne metallic is not, hasn't been shaken enough. So therefore it's gone to brown. That's a bit better. What's going on now? Oh, it's just like a... Um... The drilling out the front stopped and we've got, what, something else? Yeah, you're just having a little giggle at the workmen. The workmen are doing their thing with this Aussie flag and his bogus. Oh, really? Patriotic guy. Now, I need to pull my sleeves up, so I'm just wiping my hands on the paper towel. First. All right. Just need an extension cord. So, what I'm doing is just popping these off to the side to dry. I'm wanting them to dry with the stencil on top. I'm not taking the stencil off. And um, that's important because I want the paper to, the alcohol ink to evaporate and I want the color to, to do its thing. I'm gonna use my lumps. And I've got evening, evening. That's a very similar colour. I've got a turquoisey aquamarine and I've just picked up a random colour here and I'm going to do the same thing. Getting it on like that. So again, I've chosen colours that are alongside each other on the colour wheel so that I get something that is visually pleasing. Okay, I don't want to make too much mud today if I can help it ah oh, and we're back can you just touch the screen for me please babe thank you just just touch the screen and it will there we go that's all I want and have I got comments there's anybody yeah oh we <laughs> hello okay Susan oh they're talking about oh, lockdowns. lockdown again yeah Oh, 11, 11 weeks. weeks? Holy moly. Crikey. That's, um... Oh, Susan, so sad. That's terrible. But you're right. People just need to play by the rules. Just got to play by the rules. Okay. It's another one. And I'm going to do something in purple. And I'm going to go for glitter. Purple glitter. So I'm just popping my lids back on just to try and contain the mess. Because I've only got a little baby table here out today. So these are the glitter uh, alcohol inks. And so I've got amethyst. I like saying that word. Amethyst. Cobalt. Just two colours. Amethyst and cobalt. And I'm going to use this one. Yeah, hello Larissa, how are you sweetheart? I'm just having a bit of a unplanned sort of play here today. Uh, the idea was just to, to get a little bit of colour in your life. To share a little bit of colour around and, and, and make something pretty for you guys. So I'm just going to, alcohol inks are just super nice when it comes to how they look on paper and they just give this really amazing awesome effect um, so yes that's the plan for today is just to make pretty colors I'm just dropping in a few extra color a few extra drops here for a bit of depth because hopefully this will be a good example of how they work with a stencil you can use alcohol inks on in, on card fronts, you can use them to make really awesome backgrounds. You can be super clever and draw pictures with them. I'm not one of those people. I kind of figure it's okay when you're not good at everything. 
you don't have to be good at everything and now I'm just going to do some nice pretty backgrounds um, so I've just got my Yupo paper so of course like I was saying Yupo paper is your your card to <laughs> um, your your paper that you use so that the alcohol and everything remains fluid and flows I've got some alcohol ink blending solution here and I'm just going to put it on my paper like so and then I'm going to drop in some color now I'm pretty generous with my color I like to put a bit around like that and I'm going to use a heat gun to move the color around and it's going to dry it at the same time and now I'm going to run some purple through the middle so what the heat gun does is it moves it around with the airflow and it dries it at the same time and it gives you a little bit of a high because it's alcohol I know it's a bit early for that on a Thursday isn't it and of course what makes this look really good is the fact that I have used colors that are alongside each other on the color wheel so they work really really nicely and now I'm just going to put that aside to dry um, I do like the air dry I do like that it gives it dries quite um, it dries quite quickly when it air dries if I can pick it up here we go if you don't have a heat tool you can just push it around with your hand so these will go into making little thank you cards that will go in with your orders so I like to scribble on some in the background there and let's do something in pink so I've got bubble gum I've got fuchsia I've got a pearl I've got a glitter and I've got a plain so I'm going to start with my plain color which is mulberry I'm going to then I've got fuchsia glitter and I've got bubblegum pink so let's just get it on there let's just do it so quickly I'm going to push the color around and now I'm going to get the glitter and drop the glitter through the middle. Now it's not showing up all that well on camera, but that's okay. So I'll put some purple in again just to show you how good that looks through the middle. Let that go, do its thing. Now, when you're using a heat gun with Yupo paper, because it is a uh, because it is a a plastic paper, you don't really want to cook it too much. You don't want to melt that paper. So I'm just going to now put some drops of metallic through the middle, and that's probably a little bit too much, but. Got a really nice moody glow to it now and I'm going to put that aside just to air dry the balance of it and do another one so for those of you who are just joining in joining in joining joining in welcome welcome um, I am just having a bit of a play with some Yupo paper and some alcohol inks over on nataliemay.com.au for today only until 11 p.m. tonight you can get 25% off alcohol inks if you use the code thankful so at the end at the checkout where it asks for your code type it in just type it in as you see it thankful okay and that is today only we'll be posting orders out today and tomorrow if you would like us to add to an order that you have already done this week fantastic we will do that but you do need to just pop it in the comments to, um, that we will so that we um, know not to send it 
Other than that, it'll be going in the post this afternoon. Um, if you are worried about paying postage again, that's okay. We'll just refund any extra postage that you've already done, okay? So don't stress too much about the postage. All right, let's make something a little bit earthy. So I've got mochaccino, fossil, I don't know, slate. What else am I just pulling out of my little stash here? Oh, I might put it with a jade. No, oh, no, let's put it with navy. Let's put it with navy. All right. So if I'm not going to put blending fluid down first, what I need to do is work, again, quite quickly. Um, this can work on other surfaces. Um, Yupo paper is fantastic. I do love the Yupo paper the best. All right. Um, it does work the best. So I've got slate down. Mochaccino. I'm going to pop some of this green, no, navy on the side. And now I'm just going to move it around with the heat gun. So what happens is the blending fluid, the blending fluid is going to allow the, the motion to happen a bit more. It's going to allow it to, to move around a bit more. Um, I'm just trying to find my gold metallic. Here we go. Giving it a really good shake. And I'm going to drop some gold into some spots because the gold, when you move that around, oh, I've put way too much gold on, FYI. And now I can add some more colour in the side. I can build... Oh, I really want to, no, I'm not going to touch the, and because I've got the rubber gloves on, I can get in here and move it around with my finger. And what the, what the air, um, the, the hot um, heat gun does is move it around, pushes it that way. All right, so now I'm going to go in here with my navy blue. But it's certainly, you get a much different effect. It's a lot, um, the gold has, has really done its thing. A bit more slate. Hey, let's just get it in there. And I've put way too much heat on it and it's actually um, melted my paper a little bit. So let's not do that. So you get something really, really cool and interesting. And when that dries in a minute, it's going to look a bit specky. Oh, hello, Cheryl. How are you, sweetheart? Thank you for tuning in. All right. So I just thought, you know, as a bit of a reward for all of you, all of you guys who are working your pants off, either working from home, homeschooling your kids, Man, you've got more patience than me, FYI. I'm just grateful that Jessica's 18. I can tell you right now. And doesn't need homeschooling because if you ask me anything about physics, I've got nothing. Couple of... Pretty colours on the side there, and I'm going to drop some more in. So two colours can work really nicely. Um, and like I said, you can be fancy. You can do designs. You can use all sorts of bits and pieces to get a really, really clever pattern. Um, I'm a bit more organic when I do use um, alcohol inks. I like that. I like the heat gun to do the work for me. But you do have to heat the heat, keep, keep the heat gun going so that you don't end up with, so that you don't end up melting your paper. Because, you know, that's a thing. Oh, pop that on the floor. All right. 
I might just do one more. I'm just going to make a small clean spot here. That one came off there. Read some comments. Oh, Susan's a retired maths teacher. Oh, good. Jessica is doing year 12. My 18-year-old used to be a small person. Um, she's doing year 12. And Jessica this year is doing maths, specialist maths, math methods, and physics. They are the three subjects that Jess is doing in year 12, which says a whole lot about our family life. I can tell you right now, it's not too bad. She's, an, she's absolutely awesome at it. Um, I have never been able to help her with her maths homework. I make pretty things for a living. I do not know much about maths and that's okay. Say it every day. Don't have to be good at everything. So I'm just uh, shaking up my two fluoros that I have here and I'm going to, I've got fluorescent blue and I've got fluorescent purple and these two colours, colours together look amazing. So again, I'm just going to squeeze on some of the alcohol blending solution and I'm just going to sprinkle on a decent amount of purple and then I'm going to drip in some blue. and I'm going to move those colors around. And I love that with the heat tool, you can use direction to give them, choose which way you want them to go. I'm gonna drop in some flamingo pink now. But I didn't want to do that too much while it was too wet because I didn't want it to muddy up. Yeah, Joanne, she, is, she does have a full-on year 12. She's not doing any other subjects, though. So for Jessica, it's just, um, just those three subjects, which is why she's spending... Or well, she's only at school a couple of hours a day. She's already finished for today. She was finished school by 9.30 this morning. So, um, yeah, sorry about the alcohol smell, Louise. Would you like a, a, sweet. a, a stiff drink with your, with your coffee? Um, all right, so they're coming along quite nicely and oh, come on just one more only because I'm just looking at the side here my um, My what are they called? My stencil ones are still a little bit damp. So while I procrastinate around here a little bit more, let's go with copper Where's the black here black and copper why not? Let's do something I haven't done before Something that could go bad live on Facebook because we love that. Um, and I'm just going to make a, a very small clean spot here simply because I don't have a big area. Um, so if you jumped online, nataliemay.com.au, you'll also notice that the um, classes for the class for September, the art journal class for September, is live. So you can join in on that at any time, and we will be filming that live. Um, in September, black. <laughs> um, and I'm hoping to finish the kit that I'm working on very shortly. So there are plans for that. So I'm doing a masculine kit, scrapbooking layout kit ready for Father's Day. And I might add a couple of cards to that. I haven't quite decided. Um, all right, so I'm getting my base down first of blending fluid. And I'm just going to move it around a little bit. So blending fluid is clear. It's getting a foundation ready for the colour to go on. And I'm just going to now get that black on. Connecting to my corners. Sorry, Lou. I was going to make a smart comment then about you should be used to the smell of alcohol, but I won't do that. And then I'm going to run that through the middle. How's that look on camera? So I'm just going to let that move around. Oh, 
copper's beautiful. Um, and these are a metallic, so they have got that really nice. A bit more on here. Oh, look at that. I can go with a bit more depth on the edges. Oh, that's actually looking really great. So what's happening, of course, like I said, the heat is moving the alcohol around and it's being, it's pushing it and being quite directional, which is really, really nice. So this one's going to take a little bit longer to dry. So I'm going to pop that aside and come back to my stencils that I did earlier. And I've made a nice piece of paper towel. Okay, so what I've got Oh, you're showing them your best view then I, They couldn't see my bottom in the air then um, I'm just going to use some hand sanitizer to clean off my gloves because I want to touch this um, but I don't want to transfer I probably could actually take my gloves off. And the only reason I've got gloves on is because I've got nice nails for a change. All right. Oh, stuff it. They're off. And they're in the bin. Okay. So let's have a look. So for those of you just tuning in, what I started with earlier is just a plain piece of Yupo paper, which is a plastic synthetic paper, doesn't tear. Um, but what it does do is it allows the alcohol inks to settle on top so that you can move them around and give them direction. Um, you can actually also use, if you happen to have photo paper, it does work a little differently. This is gloss cardstock. This will also work. Not as effectively, but it, it will work. And I will just pop some on here just to show you. I've got coral and I'll just do a, a circle. You have to be a lot quicker because it's paper. So it is going to soak in, but it will sit on top of the paper, which is what you want, okay? So it will work with the glossy card, but it will dry up differently and it has a much uh, it has a it definitely has a different look to it when it dries. So kind of looks like a jellyfish. So it does work as well on a plain gloss cardstock, uh, but it it certainly has a much different, much more. It has, a, it has a different, more unique look to it. All right, so with the stencils, I got a heap of stencils. Um, put the stencils down. And then layered over the top and, and let them dry a little. And you get these really, really cool backgrounds. And that's not 100% dry. Um, and then I just clean my stencils off with hand sanitizer. So that looks pretty good. I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled with that, to be honest. All right, there's one done. Let's have a look at this baby, peeling it off. <gasps> Ooh. And then I've got a bit of ink on my stencil still. So I'm just going to quickly peel that off, put that down, pop it onto there, and I'm going to stamp it because I think there was still some um, wet ink on the back of my stencil. Oh yeah, right, look at that. And then I've got this gorgeous little outline on here as well, so that's worked out. 
put that one aside to be cleaned. Let's pull this one back up and analyze accordingly. So this is using the glitters that um, I saw I was playing with earlier. So the glitter, you can definitely see that glittery effect. And then the, uh, the inks pulled to the outside of the stencil, which looks great. Let's see what's going on with this one. Ooh, also wet. So this one is also got quite a wet stencil there. So I'm just going to put my UPA paper on top of it. And the stars are there. So these make great Christmas cards. Like just stars on the background. Stamp the word Merry Christmas on it. Tick. Done. And you're using your stencils, you're using your alcohol inks for something else other than... Oh, look at that. And that looks great too. So that was just wet. Um, a dirty stencil. And the last one is the fluorescent one. And my stencil was a bit dirtier than I would have liked. Oh, that one might be my favourite. And then I'm just making sure that I capture that, that excess alcohol ink. And I really like that. Right, let's analyse this baby. Put your glasses on, girls, because that's really bright. Crikey. Okay, so the alcohol ink has pulled in and around the stencil and created that really, really clever background. Love that. And they're not difficult. You could do that. You can pull out all of your stencils because I know you've got all of the stencils. You could pull out all the stencils and you could do that with them. So... Really, really easy. So just to touch on how I did that, for those of you who are just tuning in, I've got my card. I've got my UPO paper. I've got my... I'm just going to pop down. I've got a couple of colours here, so I'll go with green. I'll go with... I'm trying to find another blue. Three colours there. And I'll pull out... I think this one worked out really, really well. Just going to pop it straight down onto there, give it a shake, put my colour straight on like that. Oh, and I don't have my gloves. Bugger. And now I'm going to drop another one on the top. All right, so there we go. Um, okay, so girls, so there's just going to be a bit of back neck, background noise here. Just bear with me a second. I've got a couple of customers that have just come into the shop. But it's better than the, um, the roadworks and the drilling that we had yesterday. So, <laughs> um, all right, so there we go. And then once that dries, what's going to happen is you peel that stencil off and we got that really awesome effect that I had before. All right, so there we go. And I'm just going to pop that one aside and let's have a look at... Let's have a look at some of these other ones that I created earlier now that they've dried up. So we've got that one there. And I'll take some photos of these and post them up on the page in a moment so you can see we've got the glittery purple blue one. The one that I did and put way too much gold on it is here as well. Um, so that one is there. All right, so that's got that really cool sheen. So. That will make a great background for a card or a, a little a thank you note or a Christmas tag, something like that. Um, we've got a bit of rubbish off the floor. I've mixed the, um, the fluoro with the plain colour. So there's lots of really, really cool colours. Oh, what have we got here? Hang on. Sorry, I'm having to reach over and pick them up off the floor as well. And there's that first one I did. I actually really like that. That's, that's up there. I don't want to part with that one now. Um, so there you go. So playing with alcohol inks, you're going to create some great backgrounds. If you're not too sure, put lots of blending fluid on to let it to um, 
to let it walk around. Yeah, Lynn, so, sorry, I did miss the comment there because I was multitasking up a storm. I will show you how I clean my stencils um, after I've done it because it's actually a lot easier than you think it is. I just need to make a bit of a clean spot here to do that. And because I'm sensational at knocking over things on my desk, um, I'm just putting these lids on. So cleaning the stencils after is just using hand sanitizer. Because hand sanitizer has an alcohol content, let's find, there's the fluoro one. I'm gonna get some paper towel. Where did I put the paper towel? Oh, crikey. All right, I'll just use some dirty paper towel. Now I'm currently using a hand sanitizer spray. Okay, that's is something that I've just bought from um, Woolworths. And I've got two pieces and I'm just going to give it a good spray. Now, if you have a hand sanitizer gel, that would work really, really well because you can just make a, a puddle of hand sanitizer on your desk and drag it through. I don't have the gel one handy, but that's how I clean up my stencils and that's come, well, it's cleaner than it was before I started, put it that way. It actually pulls a bit of the crusty paint and stuff off it too. But that is how I clean my stencils, all right? So thank you very much. For those of you who have played along before, you know what happens. So today we have got 25% off of alcohol inks. And that is for you because I'm thankful for you guys. So you need to jump online to nataliemay.com.au and at the checkout, type in the word thankful exactly as you see there and you'll get 25% off. If you just put alcohol inks in your cart and process your cart, you're not gonna get it, okay? So um, you gotta get a nice juicy color with all of the alcohol inks. Be generous, play with the color, make it all happen, make something pretty, make me a thank you card, put it in the post. Um, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, put a mask on, uh, make smart decisions, and I'll chat to you all soon.